poor people are easily distracted. I'm so glad to speak to you this morning and I will beg of you to pay attention. I want to beg, uh, so I want to thank Sally Mowitz Foundation for their interest in the youth. And um, Sally Mowitz Foundation has been responsible for the sponsorship of my radio program. And, uh, for many years now, they pay 800,000 naira for the radio program you hear on air. And I want to thank them. Uh, the reason we are speaking to you is, is that in 10 years' time, you that is 15 here will be 25. You that is 20 here will be 30. And in a short while, you will be in position to start taking responsibilities. You will be in a position to start taking responsibilities. And the future starts now. We don't start preparing you for the future. We will have a distorted country. Many of the problems we are having now is as a result of the fact that we didn't plan for the future. So, I'm going to look at mindset reorientation. Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says that be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. To be transformed is to change form. Change form. I was not born in any and uh, I had to go doctor. After becoming a medical doctor, I became a public speaker. I was not born a public speaker. I had to train my mind. I had to read. I had to observe. But I had to still go to university to do a master's in public administration so that I can enrich myself. So you are a product of your mind. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says, Jealously guard your hearts. Out of feet spring the issues of life. What is a mindset? You see this pillar, it is set already. When you mix concrete, when concrete sets, unless you crack it, it will remain like that. So mindset refers to fixated ideas in your mind, ideas that are in your mind that are fixed, they are fixated, they, they, they are fixed, and they form the structures that build this house. The roof of this house is based on this pillar. So your mindset refers to the pillars of your thoughts. And as I said earlier on, you will eventually become who you think like. Says as a man thinks in his heart, in his heart, so he is. One of the things you must learn about life, one of the things you must know is that personal development, personal development is key to greatness, is key to advancement in life, is key to becoming a responsible citizen, personal development. I had a teacher at government called Uwe, Mr. Bamuza, who taught me that valuable as knowledge is, the power to acquire it independently is more valuable. That is, knowledge is very valuable. But valuable as knowledge is, the ability to get knowledge on your own is more valuable. So you acquire knowledge on your own, that power to acquire knowledge on your own. What is knowledge? Knowledge is information that you put into action that leads to results. When you know it, it means that you are able to achieve a task. So if an information comes into your mind, it's different from knowledge. Knowledge is the application of that information to produce results. 
So if I teach you how to bake cake, and you have not baked cake, you don't know how to bake cake. There has to be the doing. So mindset shift involves not only giving you information, but enabling you to go back home and start doing. So personal development. I will be speaking to Church of God mission men from all over the world. I'm speaking with the head of our denomination, Church of God mission, with Bishop Ferry Daosa, with one of with Daosa's daughter, and my bishop, the man that ordained me into ministry. When he finished ordaining me, he did not follow me here. I had to develop myself to the point that now preaching with him on the same platform. When he wanted to introduce me to the church to invite me, they resisted him. I did not get angry. I had to develop myself here in Lugini to the point that now they call for me. Not only call for me. I'm going there, I will speak four times. I will be going first, speak two days, fly to Lagos, then come back and speak two days again. You must personal development. Why am I saying this? Government will not develop you. The university will give you information. Your secondary school will give you information. It is up to you to develop yourself. What is development? Development is improvement. You keep improving on yourself. You keep improving on yourself until you create value and a brand. What is a brand? A brand refers to the discussions you regularly generate. The, the people will be talking about you, Dr. Cook is this, Dr. Cook is that, Dr. Cook is that. The discussions people had concerning me in those days, people like Raymond, uh, Marcos, and all that, they will fight with people in those days when people will be saying nonsensical statements about me that I'm a miser, I am this, I am that. But I was using the monies I was getting that people were throwing away to build structures, build houses, build schools. Today, Yesterday, the, the Minister of Education came to Okwokoko to inspect our new school. And the woman that came was saying that, on an knock on that this is, this is overseas. It's not from my bishop. It's not from my parents. It's not from government. I've never worked for government. The only time I worked for government was youth service and internship. From the age of 27, I started practicing medicine as a private practitioner. I made up my mind at 25 that I was not going to work for government. Why am I saying this? Most of you young people think that it is by working in government or joining a, um, uh, associating with a politician that will make your life good or being a servant to a politician. As I was driving down this morning, I left worrying by 5.20 a.m. because of this program. I got to my house around 6 o'clock and Raymond was saying I was a spirit. These are qualities and attributes I had developed when I was a younger person. So I made up my mind I was not going to depend on government or depend. So when I worked for two years, at 29 I opened my first hospital and have been developing myself and evolving myself. If I go to a ceremony in this town, the way they will acknowledge me is more than maybe your house of representative member or assembly member, not a politician. So you create a brand, you generate discussions. People generate, you generate positive discussions concerning yourself. Hello? Video record me, not be those people, and me they talk. So, what brand are you creating? 
Do you see yourself as a product? We are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works prepared for us in advance. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. You must see yourself as a product. Don't see yourself as a girl. Don't see yourself as a boy. Don't see yourself as a you. See yourself as a product. I am a product. You need to see the hotel I stayed before I came here now. That night, only one night, I've stayed there with Raymond. Only one night I slept there now is 35000 and one night. Somebody's monthly salary. Minus the food I ate. The one I'm going to stay in Lagos, I'm sure it's more than 90000 naira a night. Why are they paying for me? It is what I am bringing out from my system, myself. I schooled in Nigeria throughout. I have never, never schooled overseas. So there are still opportunities in this country for you to develop yourself. Personal development is your responsibility. This nonsense talk, oh yeah, hey. oh yeah, hey. nobody's going to help you if you don't have content. If you don't have character. I used to get angry very easily in those days. I used to get angry, very angry, fight through this. But I had to build myself to be more diplomatic, to be more responsible. So you need a personal development. Number two, it stems from intentional living. You must live intentionally. Don't live according to church programs. This is your year of this. This is your year of that. I don't follow those people. Crossover to take over. No, I already know what I'm going to get from the next year because I planned it from now. You live intentionally. I married intentionally. I told her she was going to be a nurse because I was going to be a doctor. And I was very young. I was 21, she was 19. Intentionally. So 19 is not when you start sleeping around for, for money because you are a girl, no. 21 is not when you start sleeping with all girls around. Intentional, and I've been married to her for 37 years, the same woman, and I don't do adultery as I keep telling you. I intentionally said I was going to stop practicing medicine at the age of 40. Draw a schedule for your life. At so so age, I will be this. At so so age, I will be that. At so so age, I will be that. If you don't have a schedule for your life, you become, you see, the difference between that bush, this bush here and this garden, is that this garden is intentionally cultivated while this one is growing wild. When you don't intentionally cultivate your life, anything grows on your life. So the mindset shift that I want for you, remove your mind from the devil. Remove your mind from your pastor. Concentrate your mind on yourself. You are the architect of your own life. Remove your mind from politician. Even remove your mind from your father. All my brothers failed. The same father that told me I was going to go to uh, become a medical doctor when I was in primary four, when I wanted to go to university, I told, I told him I want to go to Ibadan. He gave me taxi naira and transport to Ibadan from where it was 15 naira. No school fees, nothing. When I told him, ah, Papa, how much? He told me that he would commit suicide by pressing for them. But I had been saving money. So I had 300 naira of my own. I intentionally saved. You live intentionally. My eldest, eldest son said when we were living here, was at Noble Crest, that he will never school in Nigeria. I still forced him to be He said he will never school in Nigeria. That he wants to live overseas. And he wants to be a medical doctor. Today he's a son young there. He operates on bones. A daffy. His brother, Edafone Roger, his brother Harrison will be traveling to Lagos. Edafone said he will never go to Lagos. That the day he will reach Lagos is the day he's flying out of Nigeria. And the day he got to Lagos, I carried him to the airport and he flew out of Nigeria. He's a medical doctor in Europe now, in Germany. 
married to a medical doctor. So you don't live your life like an open field. You intentionally, it is the desires of the righteous that will be granted. Your ancestors, you can, your ancestors cannot affect you. Because the Bible says in Ezekiel 18 that the sins of the father should not be imputed upon the son, or the son, sins of the son imputed upon the father. You are solely responsible for your life under God's care. You know that. And the circumstances under which you are growing should not be excuses to make them the circumference of your life. Did you hear me well? The circumstances under which you are growing should not become excuses to make them the circumference, the perimeter of your life. I grew up in a place worse than Oto Udo here. But I was seen beyond it. So we want to grow beyond the mindset of excuses. Nigeria is bad. This one is that. This one is that. No. There's no money. There are no jobs. You can create the job. You can become the right model. You can become the right person. It was during youth service that my life really changed a great deal. When I saw young boys play football and win the Kodak Trophy, I told myself, I must also become somebody that this nation will be proud of. And I told myself that any person I meet, I will leave him or her better than I met that person. And any place I get to, I will leave it better than I got them. Immediately I started implementing that, I started seeing favor. I do really said that favor is a reaction. So when you create value, for people and people see value from you, they react by blessing you. Nobody blesses a nuisance. Are you following what I'm saying? Intentionally, intentionally. I'm intentionally in this town. I could have stayed somewhere else, but this is where I wanted to stay. The next thing is that no man is really owing you anything. No man. I'm not owing you anything. No man is really owing you anything until you, until you divorce your mind of the sin that somebody is owing you. As I speak to you today, no person can come and say, he made me. That's why I preach with boldness. No person is owing you anything. Stop looking up to people. Look inside yourself. The problem why Nigeria has not developed, we are always looking towards overseas for donation, overseas for doctors to come, overseas for engineers to build our road. Countries that develop, look inward. Look inside yourself. There is God in you. There is good in you. Don't let, I, I told them yesterday, the other country, that even if you enter a bus, passing through the valley of the shadow of poverty, don't buy a ticket that will stop them. Buy a ticket that will pass that place and carry you to the valley of prosperity, the island of prosperity. Don't buy a ticket into a bus that is passing through the valley of the shadow of death and then you will stop them. I never accept my circumstances. I had P7 in English, but I'm a public speaker. My handwriting is very bad. Everything I wrote here is capital letters. I never accept it. I don't like sentences. No man can sentence me. I make my history. A sentence is an impression about you, but you can make your history by your actions. No man is really owing you. Let me quickly say this. One of the things we want to achieve in Salimo Witz is that political parasitism makes you a perpetual slave. Political parasitism, that is, you want to be running after politicians. Now that election is coming, you are the one that will carry placard in being in front. You are the one that will do this. You are the one that will carry ballot box. It only makes you a perpetual slave. Thank God for Oshiba and Joda was able to stand against Tinibu. You know, the, your, your, one of the things they want to do in this country is to enslave your minds so that you don't think independently. Tinibu has a, uh, Oshiba and Joda has a right to contest against Tinibu. That he made him, suggested him to be vice president does not make him his slave. Most of those who came there, uh, uh, the major, the bank college, the major said, uh, I want to live long, so I'm stepping down for my elder. Is it, uh, is it uh, Tinibu that gives life? 
Does Tinubu have a, 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 a teacup of serving life? Tinubu himself, into him shape in falling. He's struggling with his own life. Then you are, you are, you are lowering down your potential. You've been speaker of the House of Assembly, one of the youngest speakers. What prevents you from aspiring to become president? You submitted your future to an old man. Marcus said, Marcus Ekuri said that old men shall dream dreams and young men shall see visions. But today, that old men are dreaming the dreams and old men are seeing the vision. Why young people are selling their visions to old men because of bags of Ghana must go. You will remain a slave forever. Let me ask you one simple question. Is it a member of House of Assembly in this town that is the richest in this town? No, sir. Is it the local government chairman that is the richest? No, sir. Is it the represent House of Representative member that is the richest? Is Omar Abigail the richest? No, sir. Is Okowa even richer than some individual businessmen? Let me ask you another question. Have you seen a politician allow his daughter to marry a PA? His PA. <laughs> have you seen, if you were, have you seen a politician allow his daughter to marry one of his special assistants? Marry special assistant or special special assistant or his media aide? Never. Never. Because they see you as subhumans. That's why, that's why their children and British universities, American universities, their children don't come to the campaign ground, but their children come for the swearing-in ceremony. Did you hear me? Yes. Their children don't come to the campaign ground. It's only the swearing-in ceremony. And you, if you are the gate, pushing it back. Go back, go back. Uh, nobody go pass here and now I go back. I say go back. And I want to talk to you youths. Listen very carefully. I was discussing with Marcus. There is weaponized poverty in this country. They make sure your universities don't work so that their children can go to school overseas, graduate earlier than you, speak better English than you, and then their children will come back and contest. I saw Ugwana's daughter speaking. I was mesmerized. If it was a debate, he would have defeated his opponent. She will have defeated her opponent. If, if Okowa's daughter is talking, Okowa's daughter has won election, Ibo's daughter has won election, her uh, vice children, all of their children are winning election to come and rule you, and you want to carry ballot box for them, collect uh, uh, 100,000, 200,000, give you one useless family with no road to pass, then you go and fight for it. I knew very early and I sent my children overseas. Do you know more than 20 years back, they had sent the children who were going to head in NPC overseas? More than 20 years back, they had sent the children who were going to head in NPC overseas. Is your brother among them? Look, the answer is your brother among them. Do you know any of the persons? Nobody has your interest in this country. Nobody. Apart from maybe people like us who are coming to teach you now. And they don't like us. We didn't call you here to feed you. We're not doing this program as a privilege that when you came to attend. We're not benefiting anything from you. It is for your own good, whether you like it or not. Me, I've trained my own children overseas. Nobody is going to intimidate them. Nobody. If their own children come, I bring them up. The brother's daughter can't mesmerize my own daughter or mesmerize my son. Are you following what I'm saying? Very well. Every fine son can mesmerize my last born. My last born scored 96% in his master's program. And the university awarded him another, another certificate for completing the program in two years. So, are you listening to me? You have a singular chance. To write your family history. You are you are going to become the ancestors, you know that? Yes, sir. So all these ancestors, according to Raymond, uh, ancestral courses are coming up. Now, when you live your year life now, your children will pray against you, ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I follow what I'm saying. So um, let me tell you this thing. Youth, 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 youth. We youth, we the youth. 
I, I see it a lot on uh, people, uh, maybe your, they, they try to, we the youth, we the youth, we the youth. Youth is not a movement. Youth is not an organization. Youth is only an age bracket. Zero to 35. Has been reduced, sir. Has been reduced to what? So, uh, UN has even reduced to um, uh, 18 to 29. Can you imagine? So, 29 years this is to be in use. Listen, 10 friends will not remain friends for 10 years. Progress will separate them. 10 friends will not remain friends for 10 years. May you never be the one that will introduce yourself to your classmate. Don't you know? <laughs> Uh, at the the way we used to stay at the table, at the GP's compound. Monkey. Ten friends, Salimo Witz, we grew up together. They re re relocated the father's grave recently. And we went there. All of us that grew up together telling stories of how, but he was thinking differently from even his brothers. Gets to a time when somebody says, don't you know I should be about my father's business? That is, you separate from the crowd. Youth is not uniformity. You put ring, you see people wearing ring in the nose, you wear ring in the nose. Is he helping you to preach? <laughs> you, everybody is wearing bonnet on empty brain with one and a half credit. Everybody is twerking buttocks now, the spring of many buttocks have expired now. <laughs> come on, buddy, come on, buddy, come on, buddy. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Okay. Uh, one with one leg, one leg, one leg, one leg, one leg. Oh, yeah, with one leg, one leg, one leg. Oh, yeah, facial expression, facial expression, facial expression. Facial expression. Yeah, with the two legs, with the two legs. When you reach this age bracket, you won't have energy to do it. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. All oh, people will be smoking corn, smoking Colorado, smoking this. But let me tell you, a 13 year old boy that we admitted with his classmates at Petra Christian Academy, a road school certificate, his classmates are still in here. I think SS1, JSS3. Uh, he hey, road school certificate, the vigilator went to meet him. How old are you? He said 13. And he wrote well. The vigilator said he finished on time. Uto Udo here. You are living here. 13 years. Listen, be doing you, 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 your mates are progressing. They will leave you a fish that does not swim with the time. Children will catch it. Youth is not a movement. We the youths, we the youths. Nobody is with the youth so. A 16-year-old boy just passed ICANN exam. Uh, Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. 16 year old boy. They asked him, How many did you pass it? He said, My father failed it several times. But I told myself I will pass it so, 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 so much younger to avenge my father's failure. Someone, so when you come from a poor family and you behave, you can't leave poverty by behaving like poor people. Mm. Poor people like entertainment. You know that poor people like entertainment. Poor people are supporters to rich people buy the clubs. <laughs> you make money for the for the rich by wearing the t-shirt of the Manchester United. But don't be surprised. But poor people watch television. They watch successful people on television. I can't sit down and watch a whole film. Am I mad? I don't know. A whole film. Watch that rent film. Go and use my money to rent a successful person to my house and spend my time to watch a successful person. Never. Spend that time. You better to spend that time in my farm. Spend it reading or spend it thinking. You intentionally live. One young man is the design flutter wave. It's a multi-billion naira 
application and flutter when you see the advertisement. I met a young girl, I will bring her in October 1st, who read public admin from Abia State Polytechnic. The school you attend now this is not important. The course you read is not important. You can use the same lecture notes with Harvard University from your phone. Anything you want to browse, you can get it from your phone. Instead of looking at TikTok. You get cash, you get press, you can't find, you be wife material. Do you have a tailor that will sell you? <laughs> Young boys and young girls, stop thinking about romance. Think about responsibility. Stop thinking about romance. Nobody needs to love you. When you are successful, all of them will love you. Uh, you mean today now? So I don't even care whether my wife loves me. I don't care whether she loves me. I've told her, my children, that if you say I'm not your father, I didn't marry you, you tell me to leave this house. In 10 years, I'll be richer than what I am now. Because you are even holding me down. I don't care to be loved. I just need to have content and products. And people come rushing for me. Are you following what I'm saying? <coughs> I don't care to be loved. You are struggling to be loved. Bleach your hair, bleach your skin. Now these people are concentrating on spraying their hair instead of putting content in their brain. That's why you are easily used by politicians. You become a broom. A broom is used to sweep, but it's never used to decorate. Have you gone to have a used broom to decorate? <laughs> I wrote here, stop.